Thank you, Barry. Now, tonight, if you're looking for a wonderful gift idea, it would pay to listen to our next guest. Reuben Turner is here tonight to tell us all about the New Zealand Mint and some of their thoughtful and expressive gifts they produce for the world market. Reuben Turner. Welcome to The Beat Goes On. Thank you. I kept thinking of Reuben Jane there, you know, that wonderful <laughs> song. So how did you get the name Reuben? From my parents, I yeah. guess, no surprise there. I think it was just a name that they liked and, um, and that, was, that was it. Yeah. Now, you're with the New Zealand Mint. So what is your official title there, Reuben? My official title is just Sales and Marketing yeah. or um, Sales and Creative Marketing. You know, you're based in Auckland? That's correct. We're based right in the Auckland CBD on Grays Ave in, in our iconic building there. The company's got a history spanning four decades, 40 yeah. years. It is the only precious metal mint here in New Zealand. So, you know, it's quite a, um, quite a special company, I guess, to work for. And the company has a number of areas of expertise. So we specialize in gold and silver bullions. Mm -hmm. And we also uh, manufacture collector coins. The history of collecting coins dates back over 2,000 years to the days of ancient Rome. So it's got quite a, quite a big following there over the years. There's all those guys that you see them in, in Europe, they're going through the fields looking for those coins with those metal detectors. I mean, That's right, yeah. so they're, they're ancient <laughs> coins there and we're actually still manufacturing coins, but obviously brand new coins. We're also involved in jewelry and you may have, ha may have heard of our um, very popular Bowrunga jewelry range, which has been oh, very really? successful, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we're also involved in custom minting. So if a company um, wants to manufacture a coin with their company logo or, or, or an image on it, mm. then we're very happy to, um, to serve them in that way. And what's a typical day in the life of Reuben Turner? So I'll arrive and work and I'll check what orders have come in during the night because obviously we've got an international um, clientele, so they're placing orders at very strange hours in comparison to ours. So I'll come in and I'll check the orders um, and get them onto the rest of the team to start them processing. Then we'll start maybe talking and working on uh, new products that are under development. So you have a worldwide base of people keeping an eye constantly with the internet that's on right. what's happening at the New Zealand Mint. That's right. Wow. So, so we're often getting orders from all over the world. That's right. Around the world from places such as Russia, uh, Latvia, uh, you know, the US, Canada, um, right through Europe. Australia, New Zealand, etc. The list goes on. Asia. So yeah, it's a well, it's what's a big... the interest in these collectibles. Just a hobby, or do they do it for investment, or is it just hobby? These people are mainly purchasing collector coins because they are collectors. So it's a hobby of theirs, um, and they might collect particular coins issued mm. um, by a certain country or depicting a certain theme. So those are those are some of the reasons and. Yeah, the, the coins are manufactured out of a very precious metal, obviously silver, so that's highly refined, the most refined silver that you can get at the moment, 99.9% .9 silver. And so there's, there is the metal value there, but people are chiefly collecting them for those reasons. Now you come up with the ideas, you think about it, you actually design the coin yourself. That's correct. You actually manufacture the coin. It's a fascinating process, isn't it? We do. So it's a very long process. Yeah. Obviously, it takes from a long ago. time. Yeah. yeah, from the yeah. concept, yeah. Um, you know, uh, being being thought up to it actually arriving in the hands of the end customer. So this that's a period often of of, of some months. Now there's a whole lot of uh, different uh, collectibles on the internet. Now we can't talk about them all today, but one that I think's of great interest is the love coins that you. Uh, the what, love coins, you know, yes. Why, why the love coins? Well, they've been a very popular product. So this is a coin, it's a one ounce silver coin, mm -hmm. and then colour printed onto the surface of that using state-of-the-art technology is a picture of two swans. So I've actually got one here today yeah. that I can show you. So this is the 2010 Lover's Precious coin. So as you can see, it's a really beautiful product, and people will purchase this often as a gift um, to give to their loved ones, birth anniversaries, birth birth, that's right. What and with Valentine's Day, <laughs> it's certainly been a popular product there yeah, yeah. those last few weeks. So yeah, it's a beautiful coin and obviously we're very interested in the packaging that the coin yeah. comes in as well, yeah. which is one of its key selling points. So when you've got this wonderful girlfriend, you just don't hand her a coin, it's the packaging's important. That's right, the yeah. whole packaging. Yeah. Great. So as well as the packaging, of course we've got the Lunar Years as well, which are another very mm. popular series. So 
Do you know about the lunar years? No, not sure of those. Okay, yeah. so the lunar years, there's 12 lunar years and they follow the Chinese zodiac or, mm. or calendar. So it's very traditional and each year is named after an animal mm. and its respective characteristics. Well, I do know that this is the year of the tiger. That's correct. <laughs> okay. You're onto it. Yeah. So I'll show you so one I of those So I guarantee there's a picture of a tiger on the... Uh... That's right. Yeah. Well, so here is one of our Year of the Tiger coins. Yeah. And once again, the packaging's you know, are really beautiful mm. and very symbolic as well, all the words on the packaging. Yeah. So here's the Tiger, again, a one ounce silver coin, and that's selectively plated in gold. Wow. So a really beautiful product. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, this has been very popular as a corporate gift. So we've mm. had a number of big companies here in New Zealand and also overseas who've purchased this product um, to give away. Mm. Why don't you have a closer yeah. look at that, Jerry? Okay. Oh, I have to put my glasses on though. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's a baby boomer chat show. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful, isn't it? The year of the tiger. Wonderful. Beautiful. Now, each of these coins also come with a certificate of authenticity. So that's yeah. a certificate issued by the New Zealand Mint and signed by our Mint Master. And it certifies that there's only a certain number of these coins, coins. that we're going to make which is once again another which, reason why people yeah. collect these because there's a, there's a demand internationally for them. And that gives them great value, doesn't it? That's once, correct. Once they're finished, that's, that's it. Once they're yeah, sold out, yeah, that's yeah. it. Now, you've got a fascinating um, collectible coming out soon for the Vietnam War. What we a wonderful do. story that, let's right start right at the beginning. Uh, we do. Yeah. Now, I don't know whether you know, but the 30th of April 2010 marks the 35th anniversary of the end of the Vietnam War. No, so I it's a very that. special yeah. date. 35 years since they, the That's war. That's right. Ended. That's right. Oh, gosh. Now, during the Vietnam War, many of these safe conduct passes, or in Vietnamese, Gai Tong Han, were distributed or airdropped by the Allied forces. Mm -hmm. And these these um, certificates, I guess, you know, once people receive them, it's a, it gives them a free passage to defect, um, you know, and to, to lay down their arms. So in that way, thousands of lives were saved. Were saved. Yeah. So it's a very special pass. Now, we've actually managed to get hold of 5,000 of these passes, and we've created a coin and a certificate and put them in a lovely box and are re releasing them as a set. So there's only 5,000 of these that will be released worldwide. Oh, what a wonderful idea because everybody's got, they know somebody that was uh, associated with the Vietnam War. Well, that's right. It was only 35 years Uncle ago. Uncle Brian, Uncle John, or he fought there and wouldn't that be a wonderful gift? That's it? right. It would. Now, we're actually offering this to yeah. our New Zealand customers, first of all, before it's launched onto the international market. Yeah. So this will retail for a special price of 99 New Zealand dollars, oh, which is really yeah. such a great deal because this is a, a real piece of history, and then with a one ounce silver coin with gold gilding. Could I have a look at it, uh, Ruben? Sure. So, what you, just for our viewers, what do we get for our ninety nine dollars? Which is this little part here is the booklet, which explains everything. That's right. So that's okay. the certificate, and that's signed by our mint master, okay. and gives all the specifications and some information about the product. And the beautiful coin itself. The beautiful coin itself. That's right. One ounce of pure silver. And the leaflet that That's was right. dropped all over Vietnam, millions of them at the time, telling the Vietnamese people that uh, if they lay down their arms, we'll look after you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So tens of thousands of these were dropped yeah. um, in Vietnam and led, led to the saving of many lives. So we're really yeah. wanting to celebrate that through this coin set. A wonderful gift. Now, Ruben, if somebody would like to uh, hold this in their own hands, instead of seeing it on television, and they would like to purchase something like this, how do they get hold of you? What's, what's the process? The simplest process, if you have access to the internet, is visiting our website. Yeah. So that's www.newzealandmint.com. Yeah. The other option is that you can pick up the phone and give us a call. Yeah. And you can call us on 09 377 6837. And you can speak to one of our helpful team. Once again, just in case you didn't get that number, get your pens ready. 09 Look, I know you've got a lot more of these back there at the New Zealand Mint. So we we're going to see you in two weeks' time on the beat goes on. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. See Thank you again. Bye-bye.